Hello, I'm going to show you six items and there's a bit of a common theme with them. So, these are old horse brasses and this one is made by Pinnick of Romsey. And I googled them, they did exist. Gill and Skinner, Bodmin, another horse brass. I now have a little stabbing awl. George Osborne, a nice little double crease for wallets. Joseph Dixon, an acorn with the initials BL, Bucklehurst leather. And another acorn with Bucklehurst leather in full. <laughs> They've all got one thing in common. They're all makers, stamps effectively, makers marks. And as I was stamping through some belts, I sort of thought, oh, I wonder how many other people do stamp. I think quite a lot of leather workers do. But if you don't stamp your leather work, perhaps you should be. If you're making pottery or wooden items, again, perhaps you should be branding or stamping your work. And I think it's great because it means when you look at something in years to come, you think, oh, that was made by so-and-so. And it's rather nice and it adds reputation, I think, to your brand. So I, I'm all for it. I do remember actually getting a wooden bowl a while back and lovely handmade hand turned bowl on a pole lathe but I was a bit disappointed it wasn't actually marked with the maker's name and I felt they were missing a bit of an opportunity and so I've always marked my work put a stamp on it and um, you know I think it's quite nice <laughs> so I'm encouraging you to do the same if you don't already now a quick word about my stamps. So you can get um, CNC cut stamps that are done in like an engraving brass and you can get a hammer shaft for them. So if you just Google a uh, custom stamp, you'll get lots of places coming up, including the likes of Etsy, eBay and pretty well anywhere else. But all you have to do, if you get them with a the stalk, you can just hit them with the hammer so I have the polythene hammer and you can just hit them into the leather and if it's veg tan leather you'll get a nice impression. I also with this one which is a stubby one I've mounted on a steel block I pop that in a press in an arbor press. I'll show you what I mean on the press. So this is my ratchet arbor press. When I say ratchet arbor press there's a lot of arbor presses have a handle you push down to make it do the impression. What I quite like about the ratchet kind is you can position your work and you have this hand wheel which drives the ram up and down initially. So I can put my maker's stamp on this off cut off lever. I then put the wheel down and that just holds itself in position. I can then apply some pressure. It doesn't need a huge amount but the handle's nice and long. Like that, bring the ram back up and you'll see that I get a nice impression of a maker's mark in the leather. This is a two ton one and it's, uh, it was made by a company called MSC but they're fairly generic and I previously was using a one ton which was absolutely fine for doing branding marks but if you wanted to cut out larger items like wallet portions, you know, small wallet portions with a cutter, it wasn't quite up to it and it's just easier to use a heavier, bigger one. So that's why I've now got the two ton here, but it's quite, quite good for that. And of course, if you're making things out of wood or out of clay, you can use one of these marking type stamps. The, these are the interchangeable alphabet stamps, or you can even get a custom stamp made up. And there's a company in Sheffield, UK that does those prior marking. They're, they're very good, very well made. They're not so cheap to buy, but um, they're nicely done. And I guess, yeah, if you have things like clay or softer things, you can even use the plastic letters that you can buy for next to nothing, which I have shown in an earlier video on marking leather with a plastic alphabet letters that are used in cookies. But really all I wanted to do in this uh, little video was really just highlight it's a good idea to mark your work and let people see you know, be proud of your brand, be proud of what you're doing, put your name to it, <laughs> put your reputation on it. It's not a bad idea. Anyway, thanks very much for watching 
and I will see you in the next film. Bye-bye then.